Hey everyone, welcome to Data Tech Club. So today we are going to discuss a very basic queries from the Northwind database. Uh, the video, the purpose of this video to target those people who want to learn the SQL Server or they have just started to learning the SQL Server. Okay, so these are the very basic queries. Uh, you know, uh, in these queries we have used order by clauses, group by clauses, and uh, the sub queries that's it so this is the very basic concepts in sql server so the target audience will be uh, the beginner all right so this is the northwind database i can show you this is the northwind database so these are the tables categories customer demographics customers employees employee territories products regions shippers suppliers territories. so this is the uh, sales data we have in the northwind northwind database is a very popular database so while you know for a practice for a practice purpose we use this database okay so uh, let's jump into this uh, so the first very first query we have this is a query to find out the name and the quantity per unit column okay. all right so let me sh let me take you to the table so this is the select a strict from products this is the query to to check the content of this table to data of this table so we have a uh, product id column product name column supplier id category id category quantity per unit column the unit price the product price you know and the unit in the stock how many stocks you know how many unit uh, of stock we have and the unit on order and the reorder level and the discontinued you know some of the products we have you know discontinued and some of the products are running all right so let's run the very first query so what is the query we have so write a query to get product name and the quantity per unit so we need to retrieve two columns in this table okay so what we'll do we'll write select uh, what is the name of this table just to activate the intelligence what is the intelligence i'll tell you uh, i'll tell you in a bit okay sorry So, uh, select product name, product name. So, this is an intelligence. You know, when you try to write something, type something. So, the, the this is the pop-up. So, this will give you the hint what you, what is the, you know, related things which you can type. So, what we want, we want a product name. So, we will select this product name and the quantity per unit. So, quantity per unit column we have okay so we will select all those text and execute this so this is the two columns we have okay so the data is here the product name and the quantity per unit okay so this is a very basic query and a very beginner level okay so let's uh, find out another one so this is the second query we have so write a query to get current product list okay so the who are the current product list so those those products which we are selling okay so let's check the data in the table so this is the data we have okay so uh, what is the query query to get current product list okay the product id and name okay very easy so the product id and product name all right so this is the product id product name from which table we have products okay all right so this is the product id and the product name again the very basic query and very easy all right so let's go to the third query so we need to find out uh, the discontinued product okay with the product id and the product name okay so let's run this query from okay so this is the column we have for this purpose okay so what we do uh, we'll check uh, which products are discontinued and which products are still running okay so for discontinued products we have different specific column and the zero indicates that uh, we we are not selling this product and the one indicates that we are selling this product okay so what we're gonna do here is we will uh, select product i and the name of this product product name okay 
some products where now we'll be gonna put some conditions because we need to filter the product on a basis of this uh, nature of this product whether it is discontinued or not okay so where discontinued equals to zero okay so what is the query write a query to discount to get discontinued product list okay so zero means the product has been discontinued and the one is one meaning uh, the product is still you know selling so we will you know what uh, okay so we can add this column as well discontinued okay so these are the products which we are not selling okay so these are the discontinued products so you can check this query all right so let's move on to the another query the query number four so what is this write a query to get most expensive and the least expensive product list okay so first we will check the table So we have uh, this column unit price okay so in this table uh, this unit price column indicates that the price of this particular product chai and chang and in seed syrup ten dollars so these are the different different prices okay so what we what we supposed to do we gonna find the most expensive and the least expensive product okay so how can we do this so we're gonna use minimum and max function in SQL so select a strict product select a strict from products okay where So write a query to get product list ID name unit price where current product cost less than $20 okay so let's um, products table okay so what we want uh, we want the products uh, with the name of ID name and the unit price where current product cost less than $20 okay the what who are the current products current products are those products you know which we are selling okay right now so where unit price is less than 20 that's it id So this is the table of the records we have okay so these are the products sorry we need to find out the less than 20 dollars so these are the table and uh, let's sort this so from the very lowest to the highest till 20 dollars 
So we have 39 products where the price is below $20. So let's move on to another query. So here we need to find some products where products cost between $15 to $25. Very basic query. Let's do, we, we're going to use a between function in this table, in this query. From products, here, unit price, between 15 and 25. ID, name. So these are the products. So let me simplify for you. Let me sort this order by price. So $15 to $25 products. So let's check another query. Get a query to get product list with the name of unit price and the name of the product. Product name and unit price. The name of the product and the unit price only those products whose price is above from the above average price okay only those so let's let me find first we, we will find the average price how can we find that okay so to find the average price or average value of any column of any numeric column simply we're going to use this function uh, avg and this brackets unit price okay. this is the average price this is the average price price of the of the products okay so uh, now we can merge these two queries so uh, what we have in this query uh, we want to get those products you know those price is above from the average price okay price above from the average price okay the price the price is greater than the average price okay so we have this table okay so all the products whose uh, whose price is above from the average price are here okay let's check another query write a query to get product list of 10 most expensive product okay very interesting query for the beginner okay so let me tell you how to write the query for this particular question okay this is the product table so write a query to get the product list name unit price of 10 most expensive product okay so uh, how to find the most expensive products okay so uh, as simple as that so you can use the order by clause uh, product name unit price okay and you can use the order by clause to check you know what, what are the most expensive products and you know uh, chronologically 
order by unit price PESC ascending order so these are the most expensive products but we want only first 10 most expensive products not all the products so what do we do okay so we have a solution for this so we can do uh, we can use of the top queries top keyword top 10 it will take the very first 10 rows of your matching records that's it so these are the 10 highest most expensive product so let's check another query write account query to count current and discontinued products okay So these are the discontinued column. This is a discontinued column in which we have the discontinued product. So the zero indicate that uh, the product is not, you know, is not uh, we are selling, and uh, the one is indicating that uh, product is still selling. Okay. So we need to find out the count of how many zeros and how many ones means how many products we are selling right now and how many you know we have stopped selling. All right. So how do we do that? So firstly we will uh, use the count function count it will take the count of all the rows okay so after count will you uh, will use the column is continued okay now we'll use a group by it will group all the values and take the aggregate count of that particular value So what we what we did here select discontinued discontinued and the count function from products and group by discontinued group by what is the meaning of group by group by will merge all the values and uh, through the count function we can extract the uh, count of, of that particular values how many values they have uh, zero indicates that uh, we have the 69 products which you know we have stopped selling and the and one indicates that we have you know eight products uh, we are selling right now okay 